But Denny Hamlin used a differing strategy than some of the guys uh, Austin Dillon particularly used, and he's parlayed it into a big lead here late in the going. Four laps of racing to go. Hamlin is going to catch up to the slower lap traffic. There's the gap. Problems for David Starr. He stops on the racetrack. Green flag stays out. Green flag. Green flag. I think NASCAR's done a great job today allowing these happen, two trucks time to get their trucks going again. Yeah, if they threw the caution soon the spin happened, no one spun. There's been three or four trucks go all the way around and keep on going. Denny Hamlin under three laps of racing to go for his first win in the Camping World Truck Series. And how Hornaday. about the role that Ron Hornaday's been on the last three or four races? Ron Hornaday running in that second spot. Austin Dillon third, Sauter fourth, Joey Coulter in fifth. Less than two laps to go from Martinsville. Joey Coulter's trying to improve on his career best of fifth. He's done it several times. Looking to maybe get by Johnny Sauter and move that up to fourth. Great run for Coulter. Joey Coulter all over the back bumper of the 13 of Johnny Sauter. One lap of racing to go. Less than a half a mile. Denny Hamlin's previous best in the Camping World Truck Series was third at Atlanta back in 2008. He wants to join the fraternity of drivers that have won in all three series. He will win at Martinsville. Yeah, checker, checker flag. Great job, Denny. Awesome truck, guys. Battle for spots. The 31 of Busher trying to get Thank another you so point. Much, he got it. He got tip on the last it. lap. Thank you. Great charge by James Busher to grab that spot away from Todd Bodine. A top 10 finish for Kale Gale. He finishes up in seventh. Brendan Gaughan also with a top 10 finish. He was ninth unofficially across the stripe. Timothy Peters ends up eighth. You see some something trailing from the left front of Timothy's truck. It's all over now. There's Todd gets turned around by James Busher. Wow, look and at how now hard. Now looks like he has problems with that truck. He, he had trouble because he ran into Todd Bodine. That's why he had trouble with that truck. Maybe, the, I know they were arguing. Meanwhile, I Denny Hamlin the is celebrating. Yeah, the arguing is going to continue between anybody and Todd Bodine, it seems like today. Well, we said it. There's going to be some hurt, some hard feelings after this race. There's going to be some tempers. Watch this. James does an aggressive move on Todd here. Gets into the back of him and is able to squeeze past Todd and take the position. You know Todd's mad. Let's see what results. So they cross the stripe. Busher has the spot. Bodine finishes just behind him. Does Bodine do something here? Yeah, I think maybe. Bodine hit the back of the 31. Yeah, man, slant, ran, ran him, him into, into the 62. Ran him into Brendan. And so after Todd Bodine went by, getting ready to come onto pit road, this is the result that happened. Todd Bodine will be in front when you see him come into the picture. He'll be in front of the 31, and now the 31 turns him. James runs in the back of Todd, turns him around, then runs in the back of Timothy Peters. He might be out of brakes by now. Could be out of brakes. This is after the race. Todd just drives the 31 truck right, right into the back of Brendan Gone. That's where the majority of the damage came from. Timothy Peters not happy as he climbs well, out of his Tim truck. Timothy's an innocent, innocent exactly. bystander. He's wondering why somebody ran in the back of him. He was just along for the ride. That had nothing to do with it. He's smiling and laughing. Oh, wait a second. What happened? And Brendan's saying, well, I had nothing to do with it. I got ran into the back of as well. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's a B in the area. Something. Timothy, I don't think he appreciated the explanation that came from Brendan Gaughan. Well, there may have been something else that happened yeah. on the racetrack. This is when James, after the cool down, they were actually coming to the garage, and he runs in the back of Todd. Wow. <laughs> and this all happened. <laughs> and, and here's Max now. <laughs> Max, Max was. Uh, we documented what yeah. went on between those two this race. And then you've got Austin Dillon and Ron Hornady talking about racing on the track. A handshake at the end of the day. What a day. Let's hear from young Austin. It's Chris DeVoto. I stepped up to his truck. I heard him say that was the craziest race I've ever seen. Why so? It was just wild, man. A lot of stuff happened. There was a lot of wrecks and there weren't many cautions thrown. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Bass Pro Shop, Chevrolet, uh, Butler Seats, uh, a lot of the guys that help us out to get to the track each and every week. Uh, my team did a good job today. Made great calls. Are awesome on pit road. Uh, 
I, it's something with our brake pads. I can't get going on the first few corners. I just lock and slide. Um, I, I try and keep hitting, heat in them. I was talking to Horn. He feels like he's got the same problem. So uh, we'll go work on some new brake pads for next year, the short track program. But I, I really had fun today. Uh, that was fun. I mean, we finished third. It was good for the points and wish we could have held on to it there at the end. And that was uh, Paw Paw's advice. Think big picture. That's what Austin Dillon did today. Hermie Sadler in victory lane. Well, that's Denny Hamlin. Virginia native, hometown favorite, gets his Camping World Truck Series victory here at Martinsville to the delight of the fans. <laughs> I think that's what Kyle that's used to Kyle do. Bush bow. <laughs> Denny, I know you love winning at Martinsville. And uh, for you to get in this truck, you had high expectations. And you were battling a whole bunch of Chevrolets up there, yeah. able to get the job done. Congratulations. Definitely. Can't say enough for everyone uh, here at KBM uh, for, and Kyle for letting me drive this truck. Uh, you know, I, This is something I, it really means a lot to me to get a, uh, my very first truck victory. And uh, just got to thank everyone at Toyota for helping support uh, Kyle's program. Uh, Traxxas, m ms Dollar General, uh, FedEx, Joe Gibbs Racing, uh, Camping World uh, for, for supporting this series. All the fans that come out, uh, this is a big race for all these truck guys, for all these fans to come out here at Martinsville, uh, Coca-Cola, Gillette, and, uh, you know, just everyone who's uh, part of this program. I uh, couldn't be happier to be here. Talk about the way the race played out with the tire strategy. You guys stayed out longer than most, came in and got your tires and, and had it when it counted. But talk about the strategy and how you and Eric Phillips worked that out. It's such a tough thing because when your truck is as good as what ours was uh, t towards the middle stage, it's like, you know, what do we do? We know tires were going to be important, but I didn't think we were going to start that far back. And, you know, the 33 and the, the 13 who were on the same strategy as us, they left us for the first part of the run. And so um, we just, bat I mean, I just gave it everything I had those last 50 laps, the hardest 50 laps I've ever driven to Martinsville. And talk about that last restart coming off turn two when you ducked to the bottom and made an evasive move to get the lead. Yeah, they were reminding me in the, uh, on the radio, they say, you know, those, those two guys are battling for the championship. Just keep that in mind. I said, well, if they'd kindly just move right over, they can battle right behind me. And uh, it was a gift. Well, that's Denny Hamlin. He took advantage of that move and carried this 18 truck to victory lane, his first Camping World Truck Series victory. Herman, let's take a look at the restart of what got him this win here. This is the last restart. Austin Dillon talking about his brakes locking up. You see he's got a pretty good lead on Hornaday. Watch what happens when he gets down to turn number one. He doesn't get through the center of the corner. The brakes, he said, didn't work right. And I guarantee you, Denny Hamlin couldn't believe his eyes. He said, are you kidding me? They're going to leave me a path to the victory? That's exactly what they did. And then Hornaday is able to get by Austin as well as they get down to turn number three. And that's how they finished right there. One, two, three. Denny, Ron, and Austin. What about these guys on the front straightaway? They're all happy and smiles. But on the back straightaway, when all these guys got to the pits, they weren't happy at all. Yeah, we thought these guys were uh, innocent bystanders there. But there's a contact between Timothy and Brendan with two to go. Now Brendan's going to go back after Timothy. And then they're going to be caught up with some more of the stuff with the five and the 31. There's the 31. Runs in the back of the five of Tabo Dine, moves him up the hill, slams by him on the inside, coming down for the checkered flag. I didn't see anything that Timothy Peters did wrong. There's one to go. He, he had a run on Brendan. Brendan elected to cut him off, and Timothy just took the spot. And then while Brendan is hitting on Timothy, he gets clobbered from the body. He's like, what did I do to that guy? You know, basically enough, Brendan was obviously hitting onto the 17, but probably wouldn't have hit him as aggressively if it wouldn't have been for the trucks that hit him <laughs> exactly. while that was all going on. It's, it's, it's not over yet, Phil. Yeah, there's Todd. Todd gets turned around by, by James Busher, and that just leaves him vulnerable for his teammate, Max Pappas, to pull up beside him. And he congratulated him. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you're heading in the wrong direction, my friend. Riding along with Timothy Peters. A little bump to the back of that 62 gets him a little bit out of shape. But yep, moves him up out of the way. But, but Brandon had Timothy squeezed all the way down the bottom of the front straightaway, so... Yeah, there was a lap truck, I believe, that Brendan was trying to get around. And you can see back there, there's James crowding his way around Todd. Wait till we get down there to turn number one. Brendan's going to come back here. He's going to quit, forget to quit. Yeah. And he'll let him know he was not happy with the pass. Take so. that. Oh, and then he's lifted up because James <laughs> Busher got right into him. Oh, me. That's well, awesome. That's good short track that's racing. Short track racing. I was going to say, we call it all the time short track racing, but we see it all the time. And I hate it's the last one, too. The last one of the season. How, how many of those trucks aren't bent? Could you find me a couple down there? Not very Maybe many Denny's. trucks. Maybe Denny's. Aren't bent up. Denny Hamlin becomes the 23rd different driver to win in all three of NASCAR's top three series. It is the seventh time.
that a first-time winner has gone to victory lane at Martinsville.